you know what I realized with us women? And I think that I was like this at one point in time too. We equate our value to how many men want to sleep with us, how many men are in our DMs, and how many proposals we got. Yep. Not marriages, proposals. But here's the thing. If all these guys want us and we want none of those guys, then we have no options. Get nothing! You lose! <laughs> Women. The clock is ticking. You do not have the unlimited time that you think you do. You can fool around, date hood guys, date drug dealers, date bad guys, all you want. This is the reason why so many women will be 30, 40, and 50 crying because they don't have a man. You don't have the unlimited time that men have. As a man gets older, we increase in value. As a woman gets older, she decreases in value. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. Welcome if you're new. What up if you're coming back? You know what we're going to do. Roll that clown. And I think that be a that's like a hard pill for us to swallow like we don't want to admit that but we know deep down inside like we go to our message message requests or our dms or our text messages and it's just full of guys that want to sleep with us or you know talk about our bodies we realize like damn we ain't got no options because really you only consider the guys options that act that you actually want yep am i right or am i right I like what she said. She said, am I right or am I right? Right or am I right? Because she's right. I fully agree with this lady because let's be realistic. As a woman gets older, her value goes down. As a man gets older, his value goes up. Statistical data proves and shows then there are more black women with children than black men. Also, when we look at relationships within the black community, there are more and were more women head of households. So as a woman, if you're looking today, if you're looking to get married, it is of the utmost importance that you seek to find a mate as early as possible. Yep. Because when you wait, we're not saying that you can't get a man. We're saying that it's extremely hard to get a man. Why? Because there's a lot of baggage. There's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of things that you've been through that you need to heal from. A lot of men, we don't want to deal with that. We've already healed from our own trauma that we grew up with. The last thing we want to do is take care of somebody else's issues as well. Also, when we look at the family structure, fathers typically tell their sons to date younger women. Why? For fertility reasons. A younger woman at the ages of 23 to 25, even to 27, that is the perfect age for children. However, let's keep in mind, we're not saying that if you're 30 or above, you cannot have a child. What we're saying is that it's medically 
not sound to have a child above a certain age. There's medical complications that you have to be aware of. So to mitigate that, fathers tell their sons to date younger women. On the flip side, fathers tell their daughters to date older men. Why? If you put a 25-year-old man and a 45-year-old man next to each other, there is going to be a difference. There's going to be an economic difference, maturity difference, mental difference, physical difference, and life status difference. A man, a man who's 25 is just entering the world. He doesn't know himself. He doesn't know what he wants. He may not even be done playing the field. He may want to go out, have a bunch of sex with multiple different women to figure out what flavor suits his fancy. But by 30, even 40, you're well out of that stage. You have a clear outlook on life. You're more apt to see things from a bigger picture. You're focused on family, the future, settling down, having life and kids. You're more apt to get married. Maybe not in this climate, but generally speaking, around 35 to 45 is when men typically look to settle down and start families. Because we're more established. We're more financially established, mentally established, physically established. We've had a long career. We're not worried about money. So as a woman out on the dating market, it's important to realize that you really have time, but time is not on your side. Like it is for men. For men, time is on our side. We can have a child at any age. As a woman, you can. Another thing to mention is that women and men age differently. As a woman ages, again, she may have trauma. She may have issues. The important thing to realize here, if you are a woman that wants a relationship, the earlier you get in a committed relationship, the better. But not just any committed relationship. You want to get into a relationship that is geared toward marriage. This is why the older generation preferred courting over dating. Because with a courtship, there is generally a marriage proposal that is turned along with that. See, in our generation now, we prefer dating. Back in the day, we would court a woman. We would show interest. We would be held accountable. We would be allowed and accepted into a family with the sole purpose of marriage. And I believe that's where modern dating has veered off of the beaten path. Instead of dating with intent, we're just dating. We're just dating to fulfill a need, fulfill a desire, cure loneliness, cure whatever ails us. But we aren't dating with intent. We're leading people on and leaving them where they stand. So I say we need to go back to the basics. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.